It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at The Wheeling Suspension Bridge, Charles Ellett versus John Roebling. In the mid-19th century, America's first major highway, the National Road, made Wheeling the gateway to the west. But the slow ferries that crossed the mighty Ohio River slowed both traffic and the city's growth. Wheeling needed not just a bridge, but one that set new records. In 1847, the Virginia and Ohio legislatures issued a charter for the needed bridge, inviting designs from America's two leading engineers, Charles Ellett Jr. and John Augustus Roebling. Both men were educated in Europe, Ellett at the École des Ponts in Paris and Roebling at the Bauhaus Academy in Berlin. Both had portfolios full of innovation with magnificent designs for bridges and canals. But it was Ellett's design that prevailed because he placed the bridge's piers on the opposite shores, whereas Roebling's design placed the piers in the water, possibly inhibiting river traffic. Completed in 1849, the Wheeling Suspension Bridge was the longest in the world, making the city famous and putting America onto the engineering world stage. Unfortunately, in 1854, high winds destroyed the center span. No lives were lost, but Charles Ellett's reputation was destroyed. Meanwhile, John Roebling's new bridge in Cincinnati had set the stage for his design for the Brooklyn Bridge, a project completed by his son Washington, who also created the cable suspension design that later rebuilt the Wheeling Bridge. With their ideas as intertwined as the bridge's cables, Ellett's structure with the Roebling redesign still stands almost 200 years later, now known as the father of American bridges. <laughs>